now that you have your uh, wall worm model tools open, uh, and if you don't, just click the button, uh, it'll open and you'll see this. Uh, now we're ready to actually start exporting the model. So as long as you did what I said earlier and made sure there's no caps and your textures and your model name and all that kind of stuff, uh, you should be okay to go. Again, make sure that your textures are the right type. Make sure they're TGAs or I'm pretty sure JPEGs, not PNGs or GIFs or random crap like that. Um, and yeah, you should be ready to go. So you're going to click Pick Model. And you're going to click on the model you want. Uh, it's going to make this big thing a text in the back or somewhere related to your model. Uh, what that's doing is actually saving the settings for you. So if you do this once and then you come back and you want to change or tweak something, you can. You don't have to actually redo everything. Uh, for me, um, since this is a treasure chest and it's made of wood, I'm going to make it have the surface property of a wood plank. Uh, that'll make it so when you hit it and stuff like that, it'll sound like wood instead of like a, a metal box or like a human face or something. Kind of weird to have a treasure chest made out of human faces, but it's Gary's mod, and I wouldn't put it past somebody. So uh, I don't touch the settings or the origin stuff mostly. Don't really need to. Uh, folder paths, I'm going to do these to tutorial and tutorial. What this is going to do is actually export it into its own uh, folders. Uh, I usually use this structure just because it's worked for me. Um, so it's going to export it to your Counter-Strike Source, C-Strike, and then your Materials and your Models folder. So instead of it going into like my project and then inside other stuff like that, um, I do it to their own folders. Uh, from a previous attempt, I'll remove that one. Uh, so what we're going to do is just hit uh, Export QC and Model. And it's going to pop up with this. You want to make sure that it doesn't have any red in it. If it's got yellow, it means that something could go wrong kind of thing. Uh, red is like it, it didn't go at all. So there's no red nor yellow. It's perfect. Uh, and then you're going to go to Export VTFs. Uh, this part here could say something else. If it doesn't say what you have in your material folder path area, just click this uh, chevron and it will change it to your material folder path. Uh, that's all you have to do, and then you just click export. Uh, in a second, it'll come up on this and say, like, yep, yeah, success. So you just hit two keys, and those are all exited. Uh, you want to go to your C Strike folder and just double check. I just had it recently where, yeah, my VMT wasn't made before, and I just, it's made now, which is perfect. It's what we want. So, yeah, all my stuff is here, and now we're ready to actually upload it to the workshop. Um, there is some other stuff that you can watch out for. Like uh, if you're doing a model for say a level, you can do collision model as well if you don't want people to walk through it. But uh, that's another video that would have to be made and I, I don't know, I might do it later or something. But anyways, uh, so we're completely done with uh, 3ds Max now. So I'm just going to save it and close it. Uh, the next part is actually not wall worms, but a GM P G Gary's Mod Publishing Utility. It's created by Altetnet. It's a. Uh, it was on the Face Punch forums, and that's where I originally found it. Uh, I'll put this link in the description. It's also got a little tutorial with how to do it as well. Um, but I'm going to go over how to set it up and everything as well. So uh, grab this, and when you download it and extract it, wherever you extract it, you're going to end up with uh, these. Without that. <coughs> so you're going to end up with these uh, files here. So what we're going to do first, um, I'm going to make a new folder just on my desktop. And we're going to call it Tutorial. And we're going to go back to the Counter-Strike, C-Strike folders. Uh, we're going to go into the new folder we just made. And we're going to make a folder. If I could, there we go. Uh, called materials and one called models. So, just to have materials selected first, what we'll do is we'll just go in here and grab this whole folder and just copy it over. So we have our VTFs and our VMTs, and then for the models, we'll do likewise. We'll go to the C strike slash models, uh, grab the tutorial folder, throw it all in there, and then it'll have the the five files that we need to actually have our model correctly in there. Um, Oh yeah, actually one thing I forgot to mention, 
um, before you leave 3ds max you might as well just grab a render of your object I'll just open it real quickly to go over this um, how to get a correct size because it has to be 512 pixels by 512 pixels so either you can make it in Photoshop or GIMP or whatever you want to make it in whatever painting program or you can just do a render uh, a render is probably more useful for you for well for other people when they're looking for models and stuff than uh, just some random words made in paint or something so we'll just open this back up um, so if you want to get a render what you do is like I don't know, find the angle you want to do it at uh, go rendering and render setup or hit F10 um, and in the width and height put 512 by 512 and then you just hit render and it'll make this nice looking render for you I did this on mental ray and that's why it was all blocked like that uh, if you want to do it on mental ray it gives like nice shadows and stuff like that you can do it by going here and uh, it, it's originally on default scanline renderer so you can just click these ellipses and hit mental ray and then it'll do it that way and then you can make it like super super swanky and nice if you really want to or not but it's up to you so uh, yeah when you've got it rendered out uh, you'll have your nice image it's 512 by 512 just hit save image save it as a JPEG make sure you save it as a JPEG because or else again Gmod will complain and hate you so just save it to your desktop or something call it icon or whatever you want to really and that's it so when you have that uh, we're gonna go back to the GM publisher that we downloaded and just double click the dot jar so what it needs and what it's asking for here is the paths to gmpublish.exe and gmad uh, those are two things made by Gary or by Facepunch at least uh, and they're required for publishing your thing to the workshop so what we're gonna do is find that so just go to your uh, steam fold go to your Gary's mod folder uh, in my case it's steam steam apps common Gary's mod uh, and then you want to go to bin and that's it. You don't need to go to tools or Osomium framework or anything like that. Just bin. Uh, you might as well just copy paste that into the second one because they're both in the same spot. I don't know why it's like this, but I, I guess it's in case you don't have it or something or you moved it. Just hit OK. Uh, it should automatically grab your... Um, if you have any add-ons, it should grab them based on... Uh, your Steam ID. I think it automatically detects that from your GMAD and GM Publisher. So, uh, what we're going to do is, since we already have our folder tutorial with the materials and model part already set up, uh, we're going to go folder, and we're going to find it, so it's on my desktop, and just tutorial, and just open. And we'll call it uh, tutorial treasure chest. And it's a model. Uh, we'll go with realism and fun. And you need to load an icon as well. So just find your icon that you made and it'll do the preview. And that's it. Like you just hit add to queue and you hit execute. That's it. Um, you want to make sure that it doesn't complain about stuff. Um, like, like I said before, you can get away with having capitals in your... Um, model but you can't get away with it in your materials it will complain and say no I'm not gonna do it but for some reason uh, when it's in your model it has no problem with it it just says like yeah there's caps in here uh, so yeah you can see it's uh, uploaded it and it's published uh, it'll tell me where it is it's already cleaning up all the temporary stuff and that's that's it like it's now on my workshop so I'll just check it out um, one thing to note as well, um, you see up here there's different modes. So for create, uh, that's what we just did. If you don't feel like making, you're doing the extra step to make your own GMA, uh, you can just hit create and it'll make a GMA for you and automatically upload it. Or you can do create GMA and pretty much do the same thing and just select where you're doing it. Um, but then you just have the file and you're, it's not uploaded. So then you'd have to go back to create and do the file, find your GMA, and then do all the same stuff and then upload it. So I just I usually skip that and just do create. Um, for later, if you decide that you want to change something on your treasure chest or whatever you're making, uh, you can go to update 
and as long as you put the new files in the same folder kind of stuff as what you had before uh, you can just select the folder select your uh, put your title in select what it is uh, and then you can even put in what you changed and it'll automatically put it into uh, the change log so I'll show you here so you can see tutorial treasure chest is now on my workshop uh, it's also actually uh, private, so nobody except for me can see it, or other admins, I guess, or uh, anybody else that's marked as a creator. So, uh, what you can do with this is you go change visibility and you put it to public, and then anybody can see it and they can download it. Uh, as for the change notes that I was just talking about, uh, you can see like I've only got the one change note, and that's when I uploaded it, so it doesn't have anything. But if I wanted to, I could go. Oh, I can show you just for the fun of it. So, good tutorial, again, be like, just model, realism, fun. Just an example update. And add queue, and execute, and it'll re-upload it all, and it'll just update it and push it to this. Um, so, it's saving the GMA, now it's doing the uploading. Depending on your connection, this could take a little bit longer. Um... Hopefully it doesn't take like super long for you, uh, but yeah, that's about it. So it should be done now. And now you can see I've got two change notes. If you click View, you can see Example Update, and yeah, so it's all in there. And that's how that's how the Gmod Publishing Utility works. Uh, so now that you've got that, oh shit, we'll uh, I'll show you how to. <coughs> see it in Gary's mod and spawn it and put it into a server as well. Okay, so to uh, get your model into Gary's mod now, uh, the only thing you gotta do is really hit subscribe. So if you hit subscribe, it's gonna download your uh, GMA file from the workshop into your actual folder. Uh, into your add-ons folder, actually. Uh, the other way you can do it is if you don't want to subscribe to your own thing, uh, you can take the folder structure that we had earlier go to materials uh, you can actually just like drag and drop this in materials and you can drag and drop this yeah and instead of dragging it into materials because that's gonna just put the materials folder in there um, that was misclick on my part so yeah if you drag and drop the tutorial folder from materials into a materials folder and the tutorial folder from the models folder into the models folder then uh, you will have it in game as well so the next part is actually to just boot up Gary's mod and I'll show you real quick that you can see your model in game so I'll just do start game I do it on a sandbox because it's just easier, so you can spawn it right in. You can see that it works. Uh, and don't mind the script errors. It's actually from a different add-on. Not even one of mine, actually. It's from something else I was looking at. Okay, so uh, hold Q, and it'll bring up this. Uh, and it'll be in your add-ons folder. And you close chest, and just click. And see, bam, got a chest. You can move it around just by aiming at the circle. And then, yeah. So you can see it's all here. There's all the textures here. Since I didn't give it a collision mesh, I can actually walk through it. Um, so that's something if you wanted to, you could give it a collision mesh and then you wouldn't be able to. Because that's actually strange. It's not supposed to sound like fruit, but... Okay. Anyways. <laughs> so... The only other thing to get it into, say, a server, is you go to whatever you use for a server, and whether that's on your computer or an FTP, whatever, um, it's the same thing as what you did for dropping it into your like actual Gary's mod folder. You just drop your respective folder, like for the models one, you drop it into the models folder, and materials one into the materials folder, and that's it. Uh, if you wanted to, say, get it into the point shop, because I know there's a lot of TTT people that are probably looking for that, um, so you're going to have to still make a Lua file for that. If you just grab the backpack folder, or the backpack Lua, you can just edit it, edit the name, edit the points, uh, change the model, 
path to yeah it's going to be in the models whatever you your thing is called and the mdl file um, then you can change what bone it's attached to if it's going to be on your back for example you can just leave it at spine 2 if not then uh, yeah, you have to change it uh, and that's about it that should pretty much cover it the only other thing that we found that we had to do to get it in um, and make it work for everybody was with our setup we have to uh, the one guy that handles the collection for our server has to add the model to that collection to its own personal collection um, and I have and we have to web sync it because we have yeah NFO servers has web sync so uh, then it'll make it so it's all nice and small instead of having to download a gigantic file and that's about it so yeah hopefully this is <coughs> sorry hopefully this has helped everybody uh, if you have questions you can shoot them down in the comments below uh, if you've got problems I can try to help you out uh, if if not, then uh, head, if it's wallworm related, you can go to wallworms, and Sean will probably be able to help you because he's really quick about stuff. Uh, and that's about it. Leave me some comments and such like that if you feel like it, and catch you later.